So something I've realized in software engineering is that there's a lot of pressure to constantly be doing more. And even after you finish your nine to five, I think that it's very common in this field to feel like you need to be either learning more or building things on the side. And this is not something that I currently do. And sure, I've done this sort of in the past at different times during my life, or you know, there have been times where I've wanted to work on something or build something, but that's not currently something I do at all. After five o'clock, I turn my brain off, I don't work on code, and I most certainly don't start learning uh, new JavaScript frameworks. And I have a few reasons why I choose this approach. The first one is very simple. It's just that to me, as a person and to life, there's more than just writing code. And for me, coding is a part of my life, it's not my entire life. And while coding, I guess, is my job, at least nine to five, it's not something that I always wanna do outside of work. I have other hobbies and things that I dedicate my time towards, and I don't really, at least at this point in time, again, I have done this in the past, but at this point in time, I don't really want to take coding and let it creep into my five to nine, so to speak. I also think, and if you're a software engineer, I probably don't have to tell you this, that coding is very tiring. And just as a quick aside, I remember that this is sort of like an endurance that I've built up. I used to not be able to actually code for an entire day straight. I remember at my first job out of college, I had so much trouble focusing, you know, for eight hours trying to write code and figure out problems that I would literally get headaches almost every day. And eventually I sort of built up a stamina and was able to code for longer periods of time. But even nowadays, even though I'm not tired, even though I don't necessarily have headaches at the end of the day, coding is a mentally exhausting task, more so than sitting on a couch or doing other things that I would be doing outside of, of my nine to five. And so it's not something that I really want to do after I've done an entire day of writing code. And especially when I have like a bad coding day or a day where I'm stuck on a task that's really bothering me or it's really getting on my nerves or it's something that I don't particularly enjoy doing, writing code is not something that I want to keep doing after I sign off doing work for my nine to five. The next point might be more specific to me, but I also make content and my content is not directly coding necessarily, but it's related to coding. It's around software engineering. And so to me, even though I like making content, I don't know if I necessarily want to do directly the thing that I do nine to five, which is producing code on the side as well, right? Because that I feel like would just make me feel like I'm coding all day at all times. And I'm, I'm more than that. So for me, because I make content and it's related to software engineering, I think I try to at least have some sort of separation between what I literally do all day, every day, or at least from nine to five, Monday to Friday, from what I do outside of work hours, uh, related to content. So I try to have some separation. I'm not directly writing code, although I guess sometimes I have done that for different videos and things, but whatever. I also right now don't think that writing additional code outside of work is sort of the best use of my time. And I mean that both personally and like professionally or in a business sense. Personally, I just don't want to right now. That's not what I'm interested in. That's not really what I want to spend my time on, as I sort of mentioned before. And then professionally or, you know, thinking like a business for the things that I do outside of work, I just don't think it's the highest priority. I don't think that or believe that right now that will give me the highest return on my investment. Investment, I guess, just being like me putting my time and resources into whatever it is that I want to do that I think will give me uh, an output that I'm happy with. I don't even mean money necessarily, but I just don't think it's the best use of my time. It's not necessarily what I have the most fun with right now. And I'd rather spend my time making content like this, editing the videos that I make, you know, making thumbnails and just doing other things. So for me right now, I don't think that's the best use of my time. And right now that's not how I choose to spend my time. I also think that me not writing code outside of work is actually a way that I prevent myself from burning out. And I feel like if I were to write code during work and after work, I sort of feel like that's burning the candle at both ends. And that's not really something that I want to do. And it's funny because I can actually think back to times where I did write code and I did build stuff on the side outside of work, things that I've done in the past. And yeah, I really did experience burnout. And it was something that made both the work that I was doing outside of work and the stuff that I was doing during work just across the board less fun because I constantly felt more stressed, more tired and more mentally and even physically exhausted. So I don't want to feel like I'm always at work. And I think that sometimes when I write code, that's sort of just how I feel. I feel like I'm at work. Finally, I weirdly think that in some ways, the reason why I am, you know, it's all relative, but I guess good at coding is because I do take time away from it. And I think if I did, like I said before, spend all my time coding, I probably wouldn't be able to code for, I probably wouldn't be able to code sustainably. I probably wouldn't be able to do this as long as I am assuming that I'm going to be doing this. And I think that's sort of important. It's important for me to take breaks. It's important for me to have other things that occupy my time that recharge me. That isn't just doing stuff related to coding or producing code for the sake of producing code. I need to have other things that recharge me, that make me feel 
feel better. And I think really by stepping away from my job, which is producing code, I actually am better at my job writing code. So regardless of what you do or want to do, I just encourage you to try to not feel the pressure to do things that you do nine to five outside of that, uh, whether it's coding or otherwise. I think that a lot of times you actually have benefits, like I just said, from not doing that thing all day, every day, uh, and trying to separate even your personality or your identity from your job. So job is part of my life. It's not my entire life. And I really think that you should think about the same when you sort of consider whether or not you want to produce code outside of your nine to five. So that's sort of how I feel. Again, this is not really something that is a blanket statement that I do forever, but there's sort of seasons, right? There's seasons when it makes sense for me to write code outside of work. And right now I'm in a season where I do not want to, but either way, this is, I guess, the good thing is that you sort of get to choose the season. Um, but I'm curious to hear what season you guys are in. Drop a comment below. Let me know if, again, I'm sort of insane and I've just luckily fallen into the place that I am without making my life about coding. Uh, but otherwise, I'd be happy to hear, you know, what is your job like? Do you code for fun outside of work? Do you not? Do you want to avoid it? Yeah, leave it in the comments and thanks for checking out the video.